What's up, you guys? It's Steve here, and man, President Joe Biden's speech last night, if you haven't heard it already, making headlines across the news as he deals with hecklers shouting out, let's go, Brandon, during his speech. Also, man, wait till you see it really stirring things up with Trump and the Republicans, and uh, this is all centered around midterm elections, and we're going to be seeing what unfolds with more stimulus provisions as they're trying to promote their agenda and cast stones at the opposing party. I'm going to get you caught up on the latest. This is your breaking news stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now, first off, you guys, regarding stimulus checks, uh, the www.reliefroadmap.com website, it is just about there. We're going to be running some tests on it today, maybe throughout the weekend. Uh, and I'll let you know. Get ready, you guys. We're ready to launch this. I'm so excited. There's so many people that only know about the federal checks. And it's very sad that there's legislatures on district levels, state level, cities, counties, all of these people that are not getting the word out about stimulus check provisions that are available to help out people right now. And I have compiled a list of literally over a hundred different programs. Uh, and I've got federal updates, I've got states, counties, cities, everything in one place for you guys. That's gonna be coming here very soon. I'm very excited to get this out. Uh, I think it's gonna bless a lot of people. And even if the programs, you're not eligible for them, or right now they're not doing any distributions, at least you'll be able to know you've got access to everything and you can rest assured. And my, my hope is that there will be provisions in there that people will be able to find that will help them out. I've had so many people say there's nothing happening in New York and I've got 10, 10 different programs in New York. Texas, I found three different ones. California, uh, over 20 of them. And all of these states have recently announced they have new funding on the way. So you guys, uh, you're going to be able to access this very soon. Keep an eye out for that. But let me get you caught up as to what's going on with President Joe Biden and his speech, you guys. So first off, take a look at the headlines rolling out. Biden to give primetime address on the battle for the soul of the nation. That coming out uh, a couple days ago as they were discussing that was going to be on the way. And look what unfolded, you guys. Biden's soul of the nation speech brought to you by Trump. They said he pretty much talked about Donald Trump from the get-go with the entire speech. Biden ramps up against Trump's threats to democracy as ex-president again dangles pardons for allies. Take a look at this, you guys. Trump hits the campaign trail as Biden says MAGA Republicans are destroying democracy lives. So uh, Trump, he's back. And Biden, they're saying he pretty much made his entire speech about Trump. But look at this. A lot of people concerned right now. MSNBC historian compares Biden's speech to Lincoln's FDRs before Civil War and World War II, saying that our democracy is being torn apart, which we're hearing is the number one concern of people right now. It was the economy, the state of everything happening with our financial system as a result of everything that's unfolded with the pandemic, supply chain issues, wars. Uh, and now they're saying, no, the concern is the state of our democracy. Uh, and a lot of people have just simply lost trust for all those that are in charge right now. And I can't say that I blame them when so many promises are made and people are just left uh, with nothing, with unfulfilled promises for so long, uh, it just becomes tragic, you guys. Now, we will see what comes through and I'll keep you up to date. Now, in addition to that, President Joe Biden was heckled during his speech with shouts of, let's go, Brandon. Take a look at this, you guys. Biden to hecklers at Philadelphia primetime speech, they're entitled to be outraged. <laughs> and I'll, I'm gonna show with, share with you the video footage so you can see it for yourself. Now, the entire speech, was about 30 minutes long, uh, but I'm just gonna take out some of the clips, some of the highlights, some of the updates so you can see it and the portion where uh, he's being heckled so that way you can see what unfolded and his response. So let's dive into the video footage. Now, before we do, do me a quick favor. If you appreciate the updates, keeping you up to speed on Congress, stimulus, the economy, everything that's unfolding, smash the like button for me. Just takes a second, helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Uh, also, leave your comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts, share this out. If you think it could help out other people. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not? All you got to do is hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Any specific questions, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. I've also got a second channel, Steve Ram Finance, where we're going to be uploading a lot more content on growing wealth, personal finance, investing in real estate stocks. Uh, a lot of you guys know before I ever got into YouTube, I was doing investments uh, and have helped change my life and my family's uh, through financial 
financial freedom through investing. So if you're interested, consider joining that channel as well. And like I said too, if you want some extra assistance, a little bit of knowledge about all the stimulus check programs available right now, add your email at www.reliefroadmap.com. Sneak in on the wait list before we go live here very soon, you guys. Uh, really excited about that. But with that being said, let's take a look at this video footage. Let me know your thoughts. President Joe Biden's speech making headlines everywhere from last night. Let's go ahead and take a look. Tonight, President Biden issued a stark warning about what he sees as the clear and present danger to American democracy. As I stand here tonight, equality and democracy are under assault. We do ourselves no favor to pretend otherwise. The president also wasted no time calling out his predecessor. Too much of what's happening in our country today is not normal. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. Now, I want to be very clear, very clear up front. <clears throat> not every Republican, not even the majority of Republicans are MAGA Republicans. Not every Republican embraces their extreme ideology. I know because I've been able to work with these mainstream Republicans. But there's no question that the Republican Party today is dominated, driven and intimidated by Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans. And that is a threat to this country. The president's speech from Philadelphia's Independence Hall came just 68 days before the midterm elections. So there you have it, you guys. Now, let me know your thoughts, especially if you are a Republican watching this, because what we're hearing from analysts across the board is that this speech was extremely polarizing. You heard the president say uh, that he's okay with a lot of mainstream Republicans, but not the MAGA Republicans, which he's calling uh, Trump supporters or extremists. Uh, and what they're saying though, is that these statements, they do not resonate with the majority of Republicans, that they feel like he's isolating, that this is a very polarizing speech. And you actually saw some of the headlines where some of the analysts are saying this is pre-Civil War speech, that uh, he's dividing the two groups, Democrats and Republicans. This is not unification, uh, which begs the question, why would you do this right around midterm elections? Now, from a strategic standpoint, you would only probably want to polarize your audience if you feel that the majority supports you, if you feel like you've already got enough votes that um, Democrats are going to win, then you'd be OK with doing that to just further and strengthen your base, the Democrats that support you. However, we're hearing that the majority of people actually disapprove of the president's performance. Now, unless they feel otherwise, uh, that would not necessarily be a good strategy. And again, let me know your thoughts. If you're a Republican watching this right now, do you feel like this speech resonates with you? You agree that the extremist MAGA Republicans are a threat to democracy? Or do you feel like he's isolating you specifically as a person that identifies as a Republican? Let me know your thoughts. And Democrats as well. Let me know, what do you think about this speech? Do you support the president? Or do you feel like this is polarizing? This is divisive? Um, let me know what you guys think. Now, here on the channel, as you know, uh, I report to you the news. Don't give opinions. We've got Democrats. We've got Republicans here on the channel because I just report the straight facts. I try my best to leave my opinions out of everything, and I cite all the sources. They're all linked in the description below. But you guys, that was the speech that unfolded, and yes, a very strong, aggressive shift in tone from the president yesterday, uh, really going after uh, former President Donald Trump, who we're hearing is hitting the campaign trail again, you guys. So, uh, also, Everybody wants to see what happened with those hecklers shouting out, let's go, Brandon, blasting a bullhorn during the speech. Uh, and you're going to be seeing uh, President Joe Biden's response to that. So let's take a look. It actually was a part of the last section we saw, but it's going to carry on just a little bit further. Take a look. Let me know your thoughts. Building a nation where no one is left behind. I ran for president because I believe we're in a battle for the soul of this nation. I still believe that to be true. I believe the soul is the breath, the life, and the essence of who we are. The soul is what makes us us. The soul of America is defined by the sacred proposition that all are created equal in the image of God, that all are entitled to be treated with decency, dignity, and respect, that all deserve justice and a shot 
at lives of prosperity and consequence, and that democracy, democracy must be defended, for democracy makes all these things possible. Folks, and it's up to us. Democracy begins and will be preserved in we, the people's habits of the heart, in our character, optimism that is tested yet endures, courage that digs deep when we need it, empathy that fuels democracy, the willingness to see each other not as enemies, but as fellow Americans. Look, our democracy is imperfect. It always has been. Notwithstanding those folks you hear on the other side there, they're entitled to be outrageous. This is a democracy. But history and common sense. Good manners is nothing they've ever suffered from. So there you have it, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as they were shouting out, let's go, Brandon. And he said they have a right to uh, to do that in a free democracy. Uh, man, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, also, we're going to be seeing what other strategies play out as we approach these midterm elections. Because, yes, there are elements of attacking the other party. There's also promoting and uh, strengthening your base. But also, we're hearing that without a doubt, the number one top thing that has the majority of approval across the nation is stimulus checks. Now, uh, we heard from progressives that executive actions for more stimulus provisions were going to be rolling out after the passage of the reconciliation bill. Literally days after that unfolded, we saw the announcement of wiping out $10,000 of student loan debt, $20,000 for those on Pell Grants, and extending out the student loan payment moratorium passed the midterm elections. So that was the first we're hearing that more are likely going to be on the way. However, that first one, it's being challenged right now. Uh, and we're hearing it might not be deemed lawful. However, the polls are showing that the American people don't care. Just the fact that he's making that executive order and he's trying to provide more stimulus, that is resonating. And we're hearing the approval is pulling up. So maybe this divisive speech is happening right before there might be some more announcements. Now, we will see. And whatever unfolds, you guys, I'll be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel. But that is the latest. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget to take a quick second. Smash that like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments. Share this out. If you want to stay up to date, it's free. Why not? All you got to do is hit the subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at SteveRam3. Consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. And also, if you haven't already, don't forget, add your email to www.reliefroadmap.com. So that way you can get access to the comprehensive list of every stimulus check in the nation. Right now, add your email to the wait list, but in the next couple coming days, might even be today, we'll see how the test runs go. Uh, pretty soon you're going to be able to get access to everything, and I hope it's a blessing for you guys. A lot of hours, a lot of work, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of money, a lot of people just helping me out trying to get this together. Finally, uh, <laughs> I am relieved to get the relief roadmap out, you guys, so keep an eye out for that. But as always, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.